Well, if you think traditional book publishing is going the way of the dodo bird, our next guest may change your mind. He's in the business of personalized storybooks for children, and that startup company has attracted $9 million U.S. from Google Ventures and other investors. Joining us is Ahi Sharabi. He's co-founder and chief executive officer of Lost My Name, and I think we can show one of the books. These are books for children, and they include the child's name right in the narrative of the book, don't they? The, the little boy who lost his name, and I've got one over here uh, that we can uh, we show a little later called The Little Girl Who Lost Her Name. So tell us about the history of the company. How long has it been around? We've been around for about two and a half years now. Mm -hmm. um, and the investment from uh, Google Ventures and the other chaps kind of, I guess, was the got us into the third phase of the company. The first phase was a complete pet project, uh, just a uh, side project between four friends who decided to do something that was just better than anything else that was in the market. And then you just uh, took off in ways that we never really dared to imagine. Uh, and then in the middle we took a small seed round and then early this year we took that serious A round from Google Ventures. You, may, you say do it better than others are doing it because the, the others have done this in the past. My, my boy is a little older than this market now but when he was little we did in fact buy a book for him one Christmas where his name was in the text of the book. Exactly. So it's not a brand new idea. It is not. What are uh, you doing differently? Uh, so apparently personal books have been in the market for over 40 years now. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that they were, they were always on the fringe of the kind of publishing industry. They were merely a, a, a commercial gimmick and uh, there was very little value in the books beyond that. And we decided that we want to A, treat them as a, as a very serious creative canvas uh, for storytelling, for art, um, but also as a technology playground. So while uh, in most, if not all of the books that are in the market, they will simply just slap the child's name into the book. So ultimately, the three of us or our three children will get exactly the same book, only the name of the protagonist will be different. Mm -hmm. With our book, every child gets a unique story that is based on the letters of their name. Um, so the three of us will get a very, very different story. It will start the same. It's a story of this little boy or little girl who woke up one morning and the name was gone, a calamity. So they embark on this courageous journey to find a name. And then from this point onwards, every book is different and unique because it follows the, the, the letters of the child's name. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a consumer, and I have a 10-year-old and a 12-year-old, uh, how am I going to find They're you? Probably a little uh, bit too, too big. A little bit, a little bit. But how am I going to find you? And uh, what's happening in the marketing and advertising? Are you on? Are you on ABC News at night? Where are we seeing you? So we, I think traditionally we were just uh, enjoying a very strong word of mouth, um, and that was followed by uh, we enhance it with uh, different online marketing channels, uh, predominantly Facebook. And uh, this holiday season, we're going to do some experiments with TV as well. So hopefully you're going to see us uh, doing some commercials on Canadian TV in the next few weeks. So would Google Ventures allow you access into the Google web search and have you as a promoted ad in the upper right-hand corner? Or is uh, that not well, to a degree. I mean, you can, you can do it even if you're not a, uh, you know, yeah, uh, backed by, by Google yeah, Ventures. Yeah. But uh, yeah, from paid search to uh, uh, paid social networks to uh, affiliates and effectively any, any online channel that we can uh, that we can use the beautiful thing about the young children is the mum the, the mums they definitely are word of mouth and uh, I think we could have a huge uplift there if it, if it continues to go well what was the process like uh, in going to Google for financing tell us about that process so we had a, a tremendous 2014 uh, we sold over 320,000 books uh, that was just under 10 million dollars in revenue so we were we were a profitable company when we started to approach the uh, the, the, the big investors um, it was a really interesting one because, as you can imagine, for um, you know, for the top VCs, uh, a picture book or you know, a physical picture book company is not really on the radar uh, as the as the mm -hmm. biggest tech company that I should invest in. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that apart from making these these uh, these books, if you think about our company, uh, we're very much at the same group now with uh, a, a kind of a new breed of start startups that are called the, the, uh, the full stack startups or the vertically integrated startups. The idea is that we have 100% ownership over every aspect of the customer journey and the whole company runs on software which we developed in-house. So we create the content, uh, our books are, uh, the books are ours, we market the books directly, we sell the books directly 
to the customers on, an, on a website and an e-commerce platform which we designed, which we built, which we obsessively optimize and iterate. Uh, we fulfill the book now through 10 print uh, partners around the world. And of course, we're doing all the customer support in-house. So there's a lot of new companies like you know, Warby Parker in eyewear, Everlane in clothing, Harry's in shaving. We're kind of in the same group of companies that are going into you know, uh, uh, sectors that aren't traditionally venture-backed, kind of te technology-led, uh, but technology allowed a huge uh, uh, innovation and disruption of that particular market. And that's what we try to do now with, with books. And no inventory, we understand. Zero inventory, zero waste. What comes next for your company? So we just launched our new, uh, very ambitious project. I'd like to think about it as the most, the, the, the most technically ambitious picture book ever created. Uh, it's called The Incredible Intergalactic Journey Home. And it's a story about a child that is wandering with his or her robot friend in the vastness of the universe, and they have to find a way home. So it's a bit of a zoom-in exercise from the depth of outer space all the way to the child's doorstep. And you can imagine what kind of geotechnologies we're using to literally personalize the book to every child wherever they live in the world, including an aerial view of their own neighborhood, their own street, their own home. Thank you very much for sharing, uh, joining us. It's a great, a great story. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. That's Asahi Sharabi. He's co-founder and chief executive officer of Lost My Name. There are the two books, the little girl and the little boy who lost his or her name. Up next, we'll have more breaking economic news.